and streets paved with gold. It's a land of milk and honey. Oh, it's more than any dream. It's a land of love beyond the crystal sea. It's a land of love where living is forever, where the sting of death will come. No victory. We are nothing more than just a flashing shadow. Till we reach the land of living beyond the crystal sea. The sun is nothing but a legend in this paradise of dreams. The lamb will be the only light we'll need. It's smooth and walls of jasper built by hands and sea. It's the land of love beyond the crystal sea. It's a land of love where living is forever, where the sting of death will claim no victory. We are nothing more than just a passing shadow till we reach the land of living. Beyond the crystal sea, till we reach the land of living. Beyond the crystal sea. Another beautiful day to serve the Lord. Amen. Thank God for all this rain. Some say we may not need it. The Lord knows we need it. The Lord knows we need it. Yep. And he made a way for us to have it. If you will, turn in your Bibles with me to 1 Peter chapter 1. Hope everybody's had a real good week this week. I know some had doctor's appointments and had tests run this week. We just uh, hope and pray that they get a good report. Yeah. Everybody found it? First Peter, chapter 1, beginning in verse 1. 15. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end, for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, <laughs> not fashioning yourself according to the former lust in your ignorance, because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. And if ye call on the Father, who without, who without respect to person, judges <coughs> according to every man's work, pass the time of your sojourning here in fear. For as much as you know that you were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold, from your vain uh, conversation receiveth by tradition of your fathers. But the precious blood of Christ as a lamb without blemish and without spot. For who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you? who by him do believe in God that raised him up from the dead and gave him glory, that your faith and hope might be in God. Seeing ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit, 
and to unfeigned love of the brethren. See that you love one another with a pure heart, uh, uh, fervently, being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. For all, gra all flesh is as grass, and the glory of man as the flower of grass. The grass with earth, and the flower therefore falleth away. But the word of the Lord endureth forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. Amen. Father, we're thanking, Lord, for your your grace, your love, and your mercy. Father, we thank you, Lord, that we have hope in you. Father, I just pray, Lord, that you'd use this message for thy glory. Father, we give you the honor and praise and glory for it all. For it's in Jesus' sweet name. Amen. 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 Set your hope on God's mercy. You know, we talked about faith this morning during Sunday school. And we need to set our hope in God's mercy. Because we have salvation, we have hope right. in Jesus right. Christ. Right. And because we have hope, <coughs> we have God's mercy. You know, a lot of times we get depressed. And that's easy, easy to do in the day that we live in. So much happening in this world. And if we keep our eyes on the world, we can't help but get depressed. Because there's hardly any good news in this world. But if we set our hope in God, then we have everything. There is nothing God can't do. And because we have salvation, we have hope in God. But we need to keep our eyes on Jesus at all times. Jesus is, 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 is coming. You know, I said last week, a lot of people said, well, I wonder when he's going to come. That's not keeping your eyes on Jesus. Keeping your eyes on Jesus is the attitude. Jesus is coming. He's coming soon. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Don't worry about the events going on in this world. Because this world's going to pass. And it's going to pass real soon. I can't stress that enough to lost people that may be listening. Jesus is coming soon. And we've heard that. I know I've heard that all my life. I still remember that old concrete cross down there at Tamala on the old road. Do you remember that? Yes, still there. It says, Jesus is coming soon. Mm -hmm. I don't know when that was put there. Probably back in the 30s or 40s. Maybe it was back in the 20s, wasn't it, Dad? It was there a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it, it's been there ever since I can remember. It's a promise that God gave us. God don't lie. No. If God gave us a promise that He is coming soon, we've got that hope that He is going to be back. Okay. <clears throat> and a lot of people said, well, we're going to have to go through the tribulation. 
I don't believe that. Because God shows love and mercy upon us, I believe that we'll be taken out before the tribulation starts, before the Antichrist is revealed. I believe we'll done be home. And my Bible tells me that once the tribulation is over, God once again is going to rebuild the earth. And we are going to reign here for a thousand years. And then he'll take us back to heaven to live forever and ever. You know, we're talking this morning about hell. Bill was talking about the movie, Heaven is Real. You know, hell is just as real as heaven is. Right. That's right. You know, if if you get burned in a car wreck or a house fire, your body is just gonna wither away. Be a degenerate. And it's gonna be over. But if you go to hell because you don't know Jesus Christ as your Savior, when you get to hell, you're gonna burn. And you're gonna burn. And you're gonna burn. It ain't gonna be over with in a few minutes, like it is here on earth, if you get burned. But you're gonna burn and burn and burn and burn and burn forever. There's no end to it. As long as we're in heaven, the ones in hell will be in torment. And the Bible tells us that we'll be there for eternity. There'll be no end. There's no end in hell. It is my prayer every person that's listening on Facebook, watching on YouTube, that's here in this building, it is my prayer and my hope that we're all born again, covered with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. You know, it, I guess a lot of people say, well, that's all you talk about when you preach is, is the last days and the second coming. There's a message to be got out to this wicked world. I wish we had more ways to get it out than just on Facebook and on uh, YouTube. Which I put it on my radio station each week. But I wish there was more ways that we could get the word out to this lost and dying world. Hope in Jesus Christ. If we have faith, first comes faith. We've got to have faith that Jesus will deliver us from our sin. He will take us and <laughs> cleanse us, make us a, a new man, cover us by the blood. If we have faith that he'll do that and we ask him to do that, he will, if we're serious with him. Now once we have that faith to do that and we do it, we automatically have hope. We have hope. His love. His love is greater than any love. I love my wife with all my heart. But my love is nothing compared to the love of Jesus Christ. Yeah. He died so that each one of us could have everlasting life. That's right. You can't have no greater love God's love for his children. And I believe 
very soon that he's coming back. And we need to put all of our hope and all of our love into Jesus Christ and into God so that we will be ready when that trumpet sounds. I'd love to be standing here preaching when Jesus comes back. For a split second, if it's possible to see those graves open up, those bodies start going up. Man. That just fills my heart when I think about it. All of those graves opening up. And those bodies start rising. And then we start rising. Amen. What a glorious day that will be when my sweet Jesus comes to return. This has been short. It ain't even, it ain't even 20 minutes still yet. This is what God gave me this morning. If anybody's got anything to say, any comment, if anybody needs prayer, Good for yeah. That's a good lesson, Jerry. You know, it says the Bible says no even angels in heaven knows when the Lord's coming back. Right. It's gonna come back like a thief in the night. But if you know about like a thief in the night, you know how they are. They always move around to feel the darkness. So I believe that's what the Lord is talking about there. Nobody knows. He's gonna come back. We're not going to expect it or anything. But he's going to come back one of these days. Amen. You might have a testimony. I thank the Lord for saving me, you know, and I thank what he's done for me and what he's going to do for me. I thank him every day for just letting me live another day. Amen. You know, if you didn't have faith, you know, you couldn't believe in that stuff like that. But I got faith in the Lord. Amen. It's going to be good to us. And hope you get this little church and everybody in it. And I hope everybody this week's got doctor folks and stuff like that. She goes well, you know. I hope everybody comes back next Sunday. Amen. I thank God for saving me. You know, that's the best testimony a, a, a man or woman can have. It's just thank God for saving me. I thank God He sent me a loving wife. Thank God he sent me a wonderful daughter. She is so precious. I love her with all my heart. <coughs> I thank God for calling me to preach, sending me up here. I thank him that y'all accepted me and asked me to be your pastor. And I pray every day that I'll never fail pastor and I'll always do what's right and what's God you know it says Jerry there's no love like a mother's love but once God you get God love and you turn your life over to God there's a bigger love there you know yeah but your mama no matter what you done or what you did she'd always be there to love you yeah. I think about my mom and dad every now and then I know my mom laid in bed plenty of nights praying for me. And it didn't matter what I'd done or where I went back when I was unsaved. By the time I got home, Mama knew exactly what I'd been doing and where I'd been. That's still a mystery to me. But I believe she was close to God. I believe God showed her what I've been out doing. And a lot of times I have the hand of correction. Amen. Amen. You know, it's against the law now to put your kids. But 
You know, if Bethany's 29 years old, but if I caught her doing something that she ain't supposed to be doing, she's not too old to be whooped. <laughs> not for you. <laughs> <laughs> but anytime a kid, I don't care how old they are, anytime a kid gets with the wrong crowd and starts doing the wrong thing, they need to be corrected. 